Hi Church, welcome to today's devotion. This week we're going to look at the Refresh series that we've been running over the last few weeks across all campuses and locations, looking at the key scripture from Luke 5, 36, 39, where Jesus tells a parable about new wineskins. Take a moment just to um, read that for yourselves, Luke 5, 36 to 39. But we've looked at the five F's and we started 2024 with a series called Refresh. Um, and that kind of cliche though, that can be annoying uh, but we know they're annoying of like, oh, I'm going to have New Year's resolutions and I'm going to stop biting my fingernails, learn to drive, save some money, uh, eat healthy. And we feel bad partway through January for not doing them. And last week in the devotions, we we um, ended those with a challenge to keep going and we believe in you and we can pray for you and let's let's do this. And they are cliches, but we don't want to miss the point that January re represents an opportunity to restart refocus, rethink, reset, and refresh. And over the last few weeks, we've looked at those five Fs in refreshing our faith, our family, our finances, our fitness, and our friends. Not refreshing our friends, but looking at our friendships. In, in today's devotion, let's remind ourselves what was said about refreshing your faith. Eight ways to refresh your faith. Change, Isaiah 43, 19. See, I am doing a new thing. How it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. If you want to refresh your faith, do something different. Do something new. Intention. Be intentional and make a plan. Set some goals and plan out how you're going to reach them and meet them. Psalms 90 verse 12 says, Teach us to remember, uh, number our days, sorry, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. If you want to refresh your faith, make a plan. Risk, do something brave. The heroes of faith in the Bible are, are ordinary people who take risks, steps of faith. Noah didn't know. He could build a boat. Gideon didn't know he could defeat a huge army. Peter didn't know he could walk on water. All these guys took a risk. And there's many men and women throughout the Bible who take a risk of faith. And if you want to refresh your faith, do something brave. Invest in others. Romans 12 verse 10. Be devoted to one another in love. Honour one another above yourselves. If you want to refresh your faith, take your eyes off yourself and invest in others. Die to yourself, John 12, 24. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in a soil and dies, it remains alone, but its death will produce many new kernels. If you want to refresh yourself, die to yourself and die quickly. Appreciate, don't just enjoy. If you want to refresh your faith, take time to appreciate what you have in your life. Take a moment now to be thankful for the things you have and appreciate. Praise God for the things that you have. Thank God for the things that you have. Heal. If you want to refresh your faith, he allow the Holy Spirit to heal you so that you can move on. Pastor Paul in the Manchester campus told this incredible, yeah, this incredible example of uh, the capacity of a water bottle that if you fill it fill it up it will only fill up to the level of its hurt and its pain and it's it's a brilliant example if you want to refresh your faith heal and then get a word get a word from god psalms 119 105 your word is a lamp to my feet a light on my path it is his word that guides us and keeps us when things get tough and you feel like quitting you can go to his word or the word he has given you for this year stand on it get strength from it and take refuge in it if you want to refresh your faith get a word from god love you church have a great day believing for your brilliant 2024